We've been in Santiago for the past seven days, and since we've been here, we've discovered some of our favorite foods in all of South America. And today, we get to learn how to cook some of those foods. We are taking a cooking class with Uncorked, but first, we have to go to the market and get our ingredients. So Nate and I love to eat, which is no surprise, which means we love to cook. But one of the reasons we like food in other countries so much is because you get to learn so much about the history and the traditions of the country. So we're back at the Central Market of Santiago, which National Geographic ranked as one of the top 10 markets in the world. We were here the other day and we did like our own little walkthrough, but we're really excited to get to walk through it with a local today. So we're about to meet our group. I'm already hungry. Yes, good morning. How are you? Good morning. Nice to meet you. How are you? Nice to meet you. Please. We learned that this market was built in the 1920s and then there was a fire that destroyed a lot of it. They kept the original structure in the middle and then they just built around it. So this is like from the 1920s. Super cool. You're going to find nowadays the markets. Meat, vegetables, flowers behind me. This one is the terminal of flowers. Why? Why we have the terminal of flowers here? I don't know. Because the central center is here. I mean, oh, yeah. oh my gosh, yes! That makes sense! Yes. market now we just bought some chicken he told us that the prices here are hundred and forty seven percent cheaper than the supermarket The fish you just saw getting cut up is la nera, la nera. And now we're going into the Vega, la Vega Central, the vegetable market. It's a kind of wheat, guys, this one. But we usually eat in a dessert in Santiago. It's very refreshing, okay? We put mote on the bottom, and then we fill with dry fish juice. doing our cooking in this super nice kitchen. Oh, this is fancy. We all get our own apron. It's a gift. I did a gift. So you, my friend, you're going to make the orange. And the main assistant, you're going to smash, smash them. It. Yes, you're the smasher. I like this job. Yeah, Sweet paprika, oregano, and cumin are coming. You can find in around the world. But the fourth one is chili, okay? It's mezquite. It's a dry and smoked chili. 
It's like a, it's a, like a smoke pack, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's like a smoke pack. First, we're trying a sopapilla with typical Chilean salsa. That salsa has so many things that I love in there. I cannot wait to make that again one day. And I have all the recipes, so I can. Everybody know what this is? Yes, yeah. I agree. Yes? That's a bartend. No, nobody saw. Make it dobo. Doing a great job so far. Need it already? This is my third one. Ah, uh, so you make a mess. She poured the other fill on the table. I would, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, anger, anger. Dessert. We are making some kind of Chilean eclair. I'm in charge of whatever this is. <laughs> You're going to whip this one. Okay. With your both hands. No, don't be lazy, okay? Yes. Yeah, really. With the first one? Yes. Uh, All the ball. And then? <laughs> I've gone a little heavy on the first seven and a half because I've run out. How many people are here? Eight. Perfect. <laughs> Way to go. This is definitely one of the prettiest foods I've ever eaten. I love ceviche. I cannot believe how good this was. I also can't believe I watched this fish get chopped up in the market today and now it's in this beautiful presentation. I love it. I'm currently getting the rice ready for the main course. That's Oh, they're great. Now we are having chicken with carrots, peas, potatoes, and rice. Simple dish. It's very delicious. I don't think I've ever tasted so much flavor in chicken before. That is so excellent. It might be because I made them. I don't know. <laughs> this is seriously is so now for the best part of any meal, dessert, we're having an eclair with berries and basil. Never seen It's complicated, that's all I do. It's really good. That was delicious. Thankfully, Kara doesn't like sweets that aren't chocolate very much, so I got to eat to a perfect way to end the day. Whoa, baby, today was awesome. We always have such high expectations for these cooking classes. When we started taking them, when we started traveling, I just always think they're gonna be so awesome. And then I'm still so overwhelmed by how much we get out of them. 
like our cooking instructor, was so cool. He started learning how to cook when he was eight with his grandmother. Then he lived in Italy and France and has done all of these awesome things. And we just learned so much. I also had like a really good group. Like just the group as a whole was so much fun today. So thank you everyone who let us put you on this video. <laughs> and thank you very much Uncorked for a delicious day in Santiago. Oh, whoa, whoa, don't drop those, eh? Just kidding. <laughs> 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 and I need them. Yes? Sure, yes. Sure, 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 sure. sure. Yes. Shake your food. Like a baby. Yeah, take a bit of the baby. Wow. <laughs> I feel like he went a little thin on this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs>